You can see the smoke now beginning to rise from the waste paper basket. It's 10 seconds. We don't see any open flames yet, but we have a lot of smoke building. Twenty-two seconds. The smoke alarm has sounded. You can see steady smoke rising. We have some open flames now in the back corner. It's forty-five seconds. We have open flames now on the couch, going up the curtains. Ask yourself how quick you could get from the second floor down to the first floor and out of your home with this type of a fire going one minute. We're one minute into it. You can see the plexiglass starting to flex because of the high heat. The flame is now moving across the ceiling. It would be very difficult for you to make exit from your house at this time. The smoke alarm has melted and stopped working. A minute and 30 seconds, the flame is rolling across the ceiling. Plexiglass is starting to melt. In fact, the smoke alarm has now melted off the ceiling and fallen to the floor. Everything in the room is now on fire. The table is on fire, the computer monitor. We're at 2 minutes and 12 seconds. minutes and 20 seconds. We have flashover. Everything in that room is on fire. A firefighter in full protective clothing could not escape that fire. You can feel the heat. Everybody is about 30 feet away. You can actually feel the heat coming from the structure. Smoke now is entering the room and crawling across the ceiling. Smoke alarm sounded at 1 minute and 40 seconds. So the heat is building up in the same manner it did on the other side. It is still tenable inside that unit. You could make a you could make an escape from the home. The wind is playing a little bit of a role here. We have open flaming now in the corner around the wastebasket and the couch. And at 2 minutes and 45 seconds, the sprinkler has reached its temperature to release, 155 degrees. The fire is being controlled and extinguished by the residential fire sprinkler. You can see that the smoke is remaining a white color, it means the room is a little bit more tenable if you were trying to make an escape. I'm going to ask the fire department to go in and knock down any remaining flame that is in there.